up uh, we've already got our connection to our router now we need to go over some of the very basics of communicating with our router so there's a couple of things that you're going to commonly do when working with the Cisco command line interface so we're going to have to be able to clear the configuration that's already in there um, normally when you're setting these up you set them up and kind of forget them for a while but with the, the CCNA training you're going to want to be able to clear these out and keep on practicing over and over again trying different things with the routers so you can get uh, more comfortable with the command line interface. Uh, when you're working for a company, you're probably not going to want to clear out the router each week. Um, but it's something that's very useful to know how to do, especially if you buy a used router. You don't want to have somebody else's configuration. You want to have it configured for your system. So you can use either two, one of two commands. You can use the erase nvram or the write erase. And we'll see that when we look at the command line. We're also going to look at how we get help with the command line. So the help has uh, basically the question mark option will show you all the commands you can run. And when you're in certain modes, you can see the different commands using that question mark. There's also a very nice autocomplete feature in the Cisco command line interface, and I'll show you some of the steps of that. And there's three main modes we're going to talk about today. The first mode is the user mode. That's the mode you get when you first uh, connect to the device. So it's a very limited mode. Um, you can see a little bit of information, but it's uh, very limited. It's basically the mode that shows them information that everybody else in the world should be allowed to see when they come in contact with this Cisco router. Uh, the next mode up is privileged mode, so this is sometimes protected by a password, and this uh, contains a lot more information, and usually it's kind of the debugging area where you can see all the configurations and see all the information. Uh, the most common command you're going to use in the privileged mode, is, uh, privileged mode is show, so you can show the IP addresses and all that information. Then one uh, level up above that is configuration mode, so basically, you can uh, configure the device, you can change the settings, you can change the IP addresses and all that. And those are the three main modes. You have your user mode, which is just a, kind of a welcome mode. And then privilege mode, where you can show information, see what's going on in the router. And a configuration mode, where you can actually uh, uh, change or modify it. Now, once you modify it, you're going to want to save your work. So Cisco has uh, one main file that it loads uh, well, one configuration file that it loads when it first starts up. So that's in the NVRAM and that's the startup config. So when you first start up your router, it's going to load the iOS and then it's going to also load the NVRAM, the startup config. If you're working on the router, it's not saving it to the startup config. It's saving it to the running config. So the running config is just a temporary file that's uh, basically the information that's stored while you're uh, configuring the router in real time. Now, if you configure your router, set it all up, and don't copy that running config over the start, then if something happens, for example, a power outage, your router is going to be completely reset to the beginning, and you don't want that. So, to save your work, it's a very simple command. It's copy, uh, run, start. So you want to copy the running config to the startup config, and we'll see that in the command line. So, let's get started. Let me go ahead and open up my terminal. And I'm going to screen in. And you notice my router has a banner. It says, welcome to this demonstration. It also has a name already. So there's already some configurations in it. So we want to go ahead and clear that out. But let's look at the modes first. So if I do, you notice this greater than symbol. And let me go ahead and zoom in on this. There we go. So you notice the greater than symbol, that means that it's in uh, user mode, it's a very simple mode. If I type a question mark here, I can see all the commands that I can run in. It's not a whole lot, it's like two space bars. So there's some stuff, and a lot of these you can just do uh, a little bit of it. So there might be a couple of these, when you're in the command in user mode, you get less functionality than you get if you're in privileged mode. So again, in privileged mode, it's one command, it's enable. So if you type in this enable, um, that'll get you into privilege mode. And you notice that the big change was it became a pound sign rather than a greater than sign. And this mode has more options, but either question mark, I can see some more of these options. 
and you see now we've already passed the amount of options that were in the previous mode. And if I need to get to next mode, I'm going to use shorthand. Now, if I want to use the full amount, of the, uh, the full command, it's config. You notice when I press tab, it fills it up for me. And terminal. And when I press enter on that, I get a config. Whoops. Running away screen. I get a configuration terminal, so you notice I'm in config mode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and press exit, so exit will take you back a level. But I can get in that configuration terminal by typing in C O N F I G T, config T. And you notice that Cisco recognized that I had enough of the word of config for configure and enough of the word T for terminal. So it recognized that there were no other commands that configure had. So if I type in config, oh, I was trying to, I forgot to go back. <laughs> The configure register command is actually very useful, especially if you forget your password. Um, but if I type in config question mark, you see that we can configure either the memory, the network, the overwrite network, and the terminal. Now the terminal is basically the main terminal command uh, location where you can modify the IP addresses and all that stuff. So if I do the question mark here, you're going to see that we can do all sorts of things. We can do our banners, host names a bunch of stuff. And I'm just pressing the space bar when I get to that more. So you see the most stuff's in the configuration mode. So, And there's even more modes we'll get into, but for now we're just going to focus on those three. Uh, when you're in the config mode, you can get into your interface mode, so you're configuring just that one interface and so on. But for right now, just uh, take note of the user mode. And then the privilege mode is the enable. Enable gets you the privilege and configuration uh, is config T. Now if I exit out to uh, privilege mode, I can go ahead and uh, write the command to uh, erase my NVRAM, but let's first look at the NVRAM. So if I type DIR, so that's an old command from DOS days, um, type in uh, NV tab, and I can look at the NVRAM, and you see that this is a uh, one that's already erased. I forgot to save my startup config file. So if I restart my router right now, it's going to basically go back to a default setting of nothing. If I type a copy, run, start, so I'm going to copy my running config to my startup config. It's going to say, are you sure you want to copy it to this file, startup config? Just press enter. And it's going to build the configuration from what I already have in here. And it shouldn't take too long. There we go. If I type that DIR, or else if you want to, you can use the up arrow key to go back to the previous DIR NV RAM. Now we got data. So now if I restart, it's going to say Homer again. It's going to have that same banner and that kind of stuff. So now that I've created it, we're going to erase it. So you can do erase NV RAM. And you want to make sure it's NV RAM, not flash. Flash is where your main operating system is located on this uh, Cisco device. So if you erase your main operating system, it's going to be like if you're in a Windows machine and you erase the Windows operating system. You're going to be able to do a few things, but it's going to be very limited. And the things on routers, basically, you're going to be limited to getting another operating system on there. So using TFTP to transfer another operating system onto it. I will talk about that more later. Just make sure you don't erase your flash. Make sure it's the NVRAM. That's where your startup config is located. Another way you can do this is called a write erase. And both of those work. And it's asking for a confirmation. I'm going to press enter. It'll take a little bit of time. It's about the same amount of time as it took to write it. And it'll come up saying it erased my NVRAM. That was completed. Now I can type reload, and now my router is going to load back up. It's not going to find any startup config, so it's just going to load a basic load up. I'm going to press enter to reload. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while it reloads. It's going to take a little while. You're going to see some pound signs kind of go across the screen while it's loading. But when it's done, it'll bring you back to a prompt. Okay, welcome back. Um, let me make sure you're back. Um, 
Yeah, you are. Um, all right, so my router came back up, and it's giving me an error, but we can fix that. But you'll notice uh, it says router again. If I go into enable, I'm back in enable, and that picks me in privilege mode. Big T brings me back to configuration mode. If I do uh, end, that takes me back to enable, and exit also takes me back. And that thing is really persistent. Um, but the problem is it's trying to find a running config off of a TFTP server. So this one's set up to automatically try to search for that. I'm going to have to go in and kind of change some of those options, but we'll worry about that later on. The main thing to know is um, basically the help. So if you type question mark, you get help. And then the quick keying, so if I type part of it, so N -N, uh, E-N. <laughs> if I type question mark, you can see there's only one E-N command. So if I just press enter there, now I'm in enable mode. So if you type enough of the word, it's going to let you uh, continue on. And that's pretty much it. Uh, reloading the router. Again, it was those two commands. The erase nvram or write erase will work. I hope this video was helpful, and I look forward to having you in class.